and what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B and I'm so excited to be back here with you today. Tech Guy and I have something really special planned and I could not be more excited about it. If you are joining our channel for the very first time, welcome and we are so happy to have you. Normally we're in our sewing room, but this time we're in our living room in front of our cozy Christmas tree and I absolutely love it. Speaking of Christmas trees, the holidays are coming up so, so quickly. So what I've done for you today is to pull about 10 different categories of things that I would love to show you for your quilty friends or your family members this holiday. And uh, let's get started. Let's pull them out and get started. One of the first categories I'd love to share with you, and I say categories because a couple of them are only one thing. Um, and a couple of them have just a couple of options that you can choose from. The very first one is the subscription boxes. It is so simple to sign someone up for a subscription box and share that joy with them throughout the year. It's such a great gift. So this first one I have is from Creative Notions and it's a, uh, it's a box in a bag that comes about once a month. All of the subscription boxes I'm gonna show you come once a month. And typically, if you purchase more than one month at a time, they give you a discount. If you purchase a full year at a time, they give you a really nice discount as well. So um, the Creative Notions box comes, it's really, um, it's a new box. It's the designer is, the curator is an amazing person. She's so sweet, she loves feedback. And, um, and so we've really, we've gotten these a couple of months and we're really enjoying those. So those are $35. If I'm looking down at my phone, it's because I have all of the price listings on my phone to make sure and give them to you. So uh, Creative Notions box is $35. We are gonna be linking everything down below. And so if you um, are interested in something, just swipe down, click on the link and uh, you'll be good to go. The next subscription box is the Sew Sampler. This might be one of my favorite because we have been getting it from the very beginning and I love Fat Quarter Shop and the Sew Sampler box. This one is $24.95. It comes towards the end of the month and it is packed full of goodies. I have paid $24.95 every single month and some months you get and it's like $60 worth of stuff and blows my mind. Recently they've started putting finishing kits inside the boxes which I think is such a great idea so you have an entire project within the box. You may just need one or two little things to complete the pattern. So that's great. This is $24.95. The other box that I really enjoy is the Quilters Candy Box. It is $46.95 and here's the thing about the Quilters Candy Box. You get all the fun quilting goodies that you might not usually buy for yourself but you're getting them in a box and you're getting them cheaper and so it makes them amazing. And you're also going to get a small little treat. Usually that's food and so you have something to snack on while you're working. Uh, but sometimes she puts extra fabric in there or a really adorable water bottle that has all these different quilting quotes on it and uh, it's just really exciting. So those are subscription boxes. Next let's talk about some functional gifts. A lot of people have asked in the background of most of our videos how do we hang those quilts? Well those are so simple. They are curtain rods from Ikea for $4.00. They look something like this, they're very short. You can actually pull and twist and they become a lot longer, which are the ones behind our, um, when we, where we film. So I get these and then I get these curtain rings with small um, alligator clips on the bottom and I hang these together and that's how my quilts hang in my studio. I like the alligator clips because it doesn't damage the binding. I can put some heat on it. The little notches go away from the actual alligator clip itself. And I can store my quilt without any damage whatsoever. So this is a great option. The clips, I believe, let me take a look. I know the curtain rod is $4 and the clips for a bag of them are $3.99. You get several in a bag. And so um, depending on the length of your rod, you can hang several quilts on just one rod. So that's a really exciting, exciting gift. Another great functional thing for a quilter is this Panasonic wireless iron. We bought this a few, um, a few months ago, maybe even a year and a half ago. 
and I have loved this. We've gotten lots of questions on our videos of what is that iron, how are you using it without a cord, kind of that thing. So this is a wireless um, iron. It comes with a charging base that plugs in and it just sets right on there and charges. It has different steam settings, so you can have no steam, light steam, or heavy steam. You've got three different heat settings, low, medium, and high. It has an automatic shutoff, so with me and having three kids at home, I will often forget to shut off my iron, and it does shut off for me, which is great. It's just a, a great little helpful tool. So this iron uh, retails for about $95 to $99, and it's really really awesome it's very useful okay so a little bit more into the functionality of gifts for quilters are quilting planners this is actually a thing I am a planner fanatic I don't feel like I could run my life and homeschool our children and run a business without planners and the fact that they have quilting planners that can help you do all of those things are great I love the quilters planner because uh, it comes in different sizing options. This is the quilters mini so I can throw it in my purse and as I have you know different things that I want to kind of jot down or I see a quilt that I'd really like to maybe jot down or whatever it's got lots of space for me to do that. It's got great graph paper in the back it has, I'm kind of flipping from the back forward, it's got a project planner, we've got some graph, um, some graph paper here, fabric swatches, some project details, which is exciting. But the best thing about this for my mom life, it's got a meal planner and a grocery list right inside of it. So I don't have to have a planner for homeschool, I don't have to have a planner for our family, and I don't have to have a planner for quilting. The Quilters Planner Mini and the Quilters Planner, which we'll be getting and reviewing soon, is great to kind of combine all of those things together. So, and then it's got meal planning, grocery list, it's got a lot of those. And then it has daily planners. So this is my daily plan. I've got appointments, I've got a to-do list. Um, a weekly to-do list. It's got great pages in here and it's small enough to throw it in your purse, which is great. So this is the mini. They do have a regular like A5 size, which we are getting soon and I cannot wait to get my hands on it and look at it. The next planner that I really like is for scrappy projects. Now this is Lori Holt's scrappy project planner and I've talked about this a little bit on this channel before that um, I use her method for organizing my scraps and cutting them down. This planner is where I got all of that information from in her tips and um, organization section in this planner. So not only is this a weekly planner that you can use and it's undated but it's got great tips and a whole section of six scrappy um, patterns inside for quilt projects and so it tells you lots of things. One of the things I flip open to quite often is the half square and quarter square triangles and it gives you if I want my triangle to end up at this size these are the squares that I need to use to do that and so it's got lots of good information in here. Um, at the beginning of the planner she's got project planning and so you've got the graph paper again here, a note section, colors and fabric swatches, uh, different sources. So a lot of my quilts I will pull um, free patterns from Fat Quarter Shop or free patterns from Riley Blake or things like that and I can list where I'm pulling it from and that way if I make a video out of it or someone asks me I can go, you know what, I got that pattern from this place. So that's a really good, you always want to give your pattern designer the credit where credit is due. And so I love having that section. Supplies that I need, uh, the quilt size, who it's for, when I'm starting it, when I'd like to finish it, that kind of thing. And then right here in, this, in the middle is a huge section for weekly planning. And y'all, this is undated. So the quilter does not have to use it from week to week to week and go, oh man, I haven't really quilted anything in the last two weeks. So that's two weeks on my planner. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to use it. Nope, that's not true. This is undated. So they can use it whenever they would like, which is great. The nice thing about the, quilt, the Scrappy Project Planner is that it comes with um, different accessories. 
So this really cute little sewing machine paper clip, uh, you get a package of three of these. And so they are different colors. That also comes with a package of pins. And these are great, y'all. These are so fun and they come in all different colors so that you can really plan out your projects well and kind of colorize them. And then you have an entire sticker book of planning stickers. These are called Be Creative Sticker Book, designed by Lori Holt, and it's designed just for this planner. And in here you have all of these um, really functional and cute planner stickers that are circles. They have to-do lists. They have um, some that are more decorative, like a camera or a music note, or um, there's travel stickers, that are, there's ballet stickers, there's campers, and, and um, so many more. Mail, movie tickets, telephones, a clock, you know, and they come in all different colors. There are 5,000 stickers just in this book, and they're meant to use within your planner. I, uh, I love them. I really do. The other thing that comes in the bundle is um, these Today is the Day, and it is a daily to-do list. This is a tear-off pad that you can uh, just kind of have sitting by your sewing machine or your desk. The nice thing about this is it's got a to-do list. It's got your a list for appointments. It is undated, again. It's got your water intake, your fitness, and then it lets you have a happy thought. Something that you're thankful for that day, which is great. I love that. So you can actually buy these things in a bundle. So you get the daily to-do list, three paper clips in three different colors, the pin set, um, and then uh, washi tape as well. So uh, four different colors of gingham washi tape. All of that bundle is $44.95. That is a great bundle. And then you get the planner on top of it. And let me check exactly how much the Scrappy Project Planner is uh, $37.48. And so for you know less than $100, you're getting so much stuff that is a great novelty gift that is really functional as well. So I really, I cannot say enough good things about the, both of those planner companies, the Quilters Planner and Lori Holtz uh, Scrappy Project Planner. Um, so let's move into kind of pattern writing and pattern books. This is our next category. Something I've purchased this year that I'm really still learning. I am not tech savvy. I have to have a tech guy in my life or <laughs> I, I would not be able to function with computers or phones or anything like that. So this year I was so fortunate enough to purchase EQ8. So this is electric quilt Eight. It is their version 8 and um, this is from Electric Quilt Company and this is a way to use a software to write your own patterns. Not only does it write your own patterns but it also gives you fabric measurements, it gives you um, sizing of the quilt, you can adjust the size of quilt blocks, it basically writes a pattern for you as you design it. It tells you that you need to sew this and this order and this and that order, and then it allows you to print them out and publish them, which is so handy. Uh, this is a little bit more of the expensive uh, gifts that I have for you today that I'm showing you, but it is 100% worth it. This is a book that comes with it. It is le Lessons for Beginners. You can purchase this separately, and it walks you through step-by-step -step how to import your fabric. You can take pictures of it and import it into the software so then you can drop and drag and know what your fabric is going to look like in the quilt itself. So EQ8 as a whole retails for $239.95 and it really is worth every penny. You can do so much pattern writing just in that. The next pattern thing that I have for you is the Spelling Bee, um, the Spelling Bee pattern book. This is by, again, by Lori Holt from Be In My Bonnet. Can you tell that she, she's one of my favorite designers? I love her, uh, her style. The reason that I put this in the pile as a pattern book and not any really other pattern book, this is a great staple book. With this book, she's got patterns in it. 
but with this book you can do so many different things um, it's got a pattern for each letter of the alphabet capital and lowercase it's got each number and then it's got lots of different pictures so honestly just by having this book it really is the the patterns that you can make with this are endless um, and she's included some great quilting patterns in the back of this book so um, earlier this year I made a hospital quilt for our son it says you are my sunshine and has a really big sunshine in the center I love it it's so sweet um, and I actually got the letters and the whole the whole quilt pattern is from her book this is a great tool for a quilter to have this book by itself retails for $33.98 it's a great gift all right so I think those are all the functional gifts that I have for you let's go on to some fun ones maybe you're just looking for something small maybe a stocking stuffer or something just kind of off the wall for your quilty friend well these little guys are absolutely adorable have you seen these before these are binding babies I actually have some binding wound on them right now these are um, little spools with hand painted faces on them uh, these were made for tech guy and I about a year ago and uh, that's when I still had my messy mom bun and he still had hair and these are great to stick on the top of your sewing machine they have a hole in the bottom so you can stick them on your sewing machine and your binding winds off like a spool of thread onto your quilt and so that way it's not all tangled on the floor these are a great gift and these are something that quilters think oh I don't really need that I don't want to spend the money on it but they would love it as a gift and so these are great so I've got two of those for you okay the next kind of novelty thing we actually just received this not that long ago this is just a little wooden plaque with a hand-painted sewing machine and a wooden heart this is uh, from just add sunshine in San Diego California she makes these herself and so uh, we'll list her Instagram down below so that you guys can go on and check and see um, some of the other things she she makes she doesn't only do sewing things and so you might find some really good gifts on there as well so this is just a little fun something small to put in the stocking or just to wrap and give us a great little gift okay I have two more things and um, one of which I was at my local quilt shop this week and I picked this up this is a Christmas quilt kit it's just a little ornament pillow uh, I haven't made it yet but um, this is such a fun gift if you can find a quilt store in your area or if you know of a local quilt store that you love to go to head in there and grab a quilt kit those are great this one was $15 it includes everything I need to make the pillow except for the pillow itself and so grab a quilt kit you don't have to think about well I, I should buy this fabric and will she like that fabric or will he like this or will he like that it's just a kit that's already put together everything is inside and it's such a good such a good gift so that's something that's really fun for you the last thing I have for you is totally random but I have figured out that I cannot live without it in my sewing studio so we talked a little bit about my mom bun and how I used to have like this thing on top of my head that we call the mom bun and my husband tech guy would always know what kind of day I've had with the kids and homeschooling with how messy the mom bun had gotten or how high up it was or just how insane it was some days he's, he would come home and it was decent so we've had a decent day most days some days he came home and he's like okay I'm just gonna shut the door um but this next thing I did not realize I needed it until I had it hair ties for just pulling your hair up out of your face are essential as quilters as you're sewing and my hair is in my face so I bought a set of hair ties from this wonderful lady out in California she's so sweet um, I bought a set of hair ties and I just keep them next to my sewing machine and the way that she makes them they're just elastic knotted together but the way that they are made they don't crease your hair and so if I've got things I need to do later and I didn't want my hair in a ponytail the rest of the day it's great to just slide out because they're really soft elastic so I bought a holiday set this time 
Um, I bought a holiday set just to kind of have sitting next to my sewing machine and I have grabbed those more times than I can count. And these are so nice. So this is, um, I'll link her, her channel down below. She has a, she has a YouTube channel as well, but she, um, has an Etsy shop and she sells these and they're a great price. And so this is a great stocking stuffer as well because we're, I'm always reaching for something to get my hair out of my face as I'm trying to be productive and concentrate. So that's just something little kind of off the wall for a quilter, but I've realized that I really needed that. So um, with that being said, we have such, um, and we have such big plans coming up for the holidays. And like I said, I love giving gifts. It is my favorite thing to do. Um, I am just, I'm just, I love to do it. I love to see the reaction on people's faces as I've made them something or gifted them something. It's just really special to me and I like that time. So we uh, would love to hear what you all are giving your quilty friends for Christmas. If you have other suggestions of things that you would think make a great holiday gift, uh, comment down below and let me know. I'm looking for things to give my friends and I know Tech Guy is looking for some things to give me. So why don't you guys give him some ideas down below and uh, and we'll continue the conversation there. Thank you so much for joining us in the hive today with this holiday gift guide. I look forward to hearing from you all and seeing you next time. Have a great day.